So I want to teach you a nice uh, little traditional song called Shady Grove uh, or Matty Groves, kind of basically the same thing. Um, there's about a hundred different variations of it. I've just chosen my specific version of it. Um, it may not be similar to the song you've heard before, but this is definitely my version of Shady Grove. Uh, what I want to do first is I just want to have a quick play of the basic melody. Uh, I'm going to play it three times round. Um, I'm going to have the metronome in my ear, so you don't need to worry about timing. Um, if you want to look, look at the tab, uh, there's a link below at the bottom of the video to take you to a little PDF booklet for this lesson, or if you're welcome to learn by ear, or if you he head over to mandonmike.com, you can download it that way as well. So at 105 BPM, after four, here we go. The basic melody for Shady Grove. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, because this is an intermediate version of Shady Grove, I want to teach you a slightly harder version of that uh, with basically more notes in. Um, because we're not just restricted by the basic melody. We can add notes around it and it will still sound like Shady Grove. Um, so again, if you download the PDF that goes with this, you can see this version tabbed out. Um, but I'm going to play you a, um, a intermediate version of it. Um, and again, I've got it set at 105 BPM. Uh, and there are some hammer-ons and pull-offs, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's have a play of it first, or I'll play you what it sounds like, uh, and then we'll have a discussion of the hammer-ons and pull-offs, and then we'll play it again. So, uh, twice through, an intermediate version of the Shady Grove melody. Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's a variation on the melody. Um, and now one of the main things I did with that is added some hammer-ons and pull-offs. Uh, and I just want to mention a couple of them. So if we take the first, very first phrase of the tune where I go... So the very, the second note is hammered on. I pick the open first note and then hammer on. So that's what it sounds like. Now, what's important is what your right hand is doing because that very first note is on the beat, so that's a down, down. And then if we were to pick that next note, it would be an up because it's off the beat. But because we're hammering on, we're not actually playing that up stroke. So, so the mistake that people make is then the note after that, they would then make that an up stroke. So your, hand, your right hand is still picking down, up. So they would go... So down, hammer on, up. So that's wrong because the hammer on is taking the place of the upstroke. So the note after the hammer on should be a down. So if I demonstrate this really slowly, I'll really emphasize, I'm gonna play it with the hammer on. So down, hammer on, down. So if you can see the hammer on is taking the place of an up. I'm not actually picking that. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Uh, if not, drop me an email on mike at mandomike.com and I'll try and explain it a bit more. Um, or download the PDF and it kind of um, it takes you through it a bit slower. Um, but that's the general principle. So the, the hammer-on is taking the place of, a, of an upstroke. So your, your pick strokes are going down, down, up, down. 
and the same on the next bar. So your, your first note is a down, then you hammer on, which takes the place of a nut stroke, and then a down on the other side of a hammer on. Okay, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So the first two bars, instead of picking it all, which kind of sounds a little bit robotic, if you just add two hammer-ons, it kind of smooths it out and adds a, a bit of interest to it. So really be careful of what that right hand's doing. In bar six, we have something a little different. We have a pull-off. Um, now, the same principle applies. So um, the phrase is, and I'm pulling off between the second fret of the B to the open. Now this time the uh, we're still down on the beat, up off the beat. So we've got our first note, which is the open note, is a down, and then we're picking the second note, so that makes it an up, and then we're pulling off. So the pull off this time, instead of replacing an up stroke, is actually replacing a down stroke, and then the note after that you come in on an up stroke. So if I'm to do emphasize my hand. So down, up, up, down. So the pull off is taking the place of the down stroke. Got it? Down, up, up, down. It's a tricky little concept, but it's really important because it means that you're, um, no matter how many hammer ons and pull offs you put in there, um, your right hand is still down on the beat, up off the beat. That's the important principle of, of, uh, of mandolin playing. So now you know that, I urge you to go back and have a little look at the tune and make sure right, your right hand is doing the right thing when it's uh, putting those hammer-on and pull-offs in. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a little jam of it. So uh, I'm going to play uh, the melody twice around. I'm going to sort of see it in blocks of two. So I'm going to play the melody twice, then I'm going to jump to the chords twice, then I'm going to jump to the melody and then back to the chords each time twice around. And the idea is you do the opposite um, if you can play them. If you just want to play along with me and you're still learning it, that's also fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the melody first, twice, and then the chords twice. Um, so, uh, again, about, about one or five BPM. So, um, one, two, three, four.
Thanks very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you've learned something. Don't forget to head over to mandalmind.com or click the link below um, where you can download the tabs for what I've just taught. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please uh, consider making a small donation via the website. Um, and don't forget to sign up for the mailing list so you get all future monthly lessons direct to your inbox. See you next month. Thanks very much.